Let's so start with uh, Bruce MacArthur. When did he come in? What was your contact? Well, uh, we figured this out later, of course, but he was here on uh, September the 16th, a Saturday. We buy many cars. People drive in their old cars to get rid of them. So he came in on this uh, on the 16th, came up, showed us his car. One of our salesmen talked to him, looked at the car, come up with a price of $125. Uh, we bought the car, and when we do that, the car gets processed through our, our system, decontaminated, and goes up into our yard f for parts. Okay, what kind of car was it? It was a 2004 Dodge Caravan. Okay, so 243,000 kilometers, I think we're on it. What color? Um, deep, deep red, maroon color. Mm -hmm. And then when, so when you, um, you took the van in, you bought it, and then what was what happened after? What's the processing like? Is that when? Parts yeah, are? within within a three or four days, uh, it's inventoried, and we document VIN numbers and other information. We decontaminate it, get it prepped to go up into the yard. Um, so within three or four days, that would have happened. Uh, the Metro Police uh, came in here on the third of October. They were canvassing yards similar to mine who buy cars like that, and uh, we uh, ran the VIN number to find out if the car was here. And sure enough, it came up in our system. Police were excited. Um, we took the van. They had it uh, taken into Toronto uh, for their forensics labs, I guess. Um, we scoured our, our DV, DVR footage for the day that the van was bought. They knew who they were looking for because when, when they saw his face, they knew who it was. They took copies of the surveillance. And um, we worked with them on and off over the next little while to get them more information for the case. Okay. And when you found out the connection and of course the the release of the first degree murder charges last week what was your reaction well wow, yeah, that's, that, that is pretty crazy for sure as you can you can well imagine um, but uh, it you know, we tied it all together it made a lot of sense and uh, you know the, the fact that we we're able to help out uh, an investigation like this is, is good we're happy to do that what was he like to deal with um, I didn't deal with them direct. Uh, our salesman Harry here is the one who dealt with them, and uh, according to the guys in the office that day, it was just like any other transaction. He came in, calm, cool, no problem, dropped the car just like anybody else, and walked away. Anything um, that was out of sorts in the vehicle at all, according to your staff? No, nothing out of the ordinary. The police eventually had uh, found trace amounts of blood in the vehicle, nothing we noticed, not, nothing out of the ordinary, but they had found some. Uh, they wanted some information on which employees uh, might have had contact with the inside of the van. Um, they did take a, a sample of DNA or blood from one of our employees so that they can discount um, you know, who was in contact inside. That was kind of part of the process over that little while, um, within weeks after them coming in. Yeah. Okay. Were you, now, were police, I, I guess, you, as you said, they were canvassing different businesses that are recyclers and auto parts businesses that um, similar, I guess, in this area. So it, they came 12 days later. <coughs> yes. Okay. And is that is that typical that you would still have the vehicle, you know, pretty much intact 12 days after someone drops it off? Well, the kind of business we do, we buy late model um, salvage write-offs, and we buy older cars like this. So, And we do use them for parts. So we don't take them right to scrap like, like some businesses do. They'll go right to a scrap, they get pressed, and they'll disappear. Uh, we keep cars around, we keep track of the VINs and documentation, ownerships, that kind of thing. So um, I, I would think for, for the sake of this, uh, this investigation, it was a good thing because, again, we keep the cars here, we keep track of them. So it was, it was, it was good for the police to, uh, to end up finding the vehicle here. Right. And when the police did realize that uh, the vehicle was here and that the suspect who they were looking for was on your videotape, did, I mean, did they tell you, give you any insight into what they were looking they for? Just, it, they just said it was an important case to them. And uh, if we could help them out, they'd be much appreciated. And of course, that was that was simple.